Earl Grey tea, one of the most delicious ganache in my favorite list. Earl Grey tea, we'll do it together so easy and delicious and the most of all how to infuse and get all the flavor of early gray tea that's what we learned together in this video if this first time to watch me this rabbit and many pieces show beasts from chocolate you can learn free in my youtube if you want this video write comment i will send you the video direct one of the best easy way to make chocolate chubis for your buffet or shop let's spray this second layer first i give light layer of ruby color or red color and then i wait like 20 minutes and then i give an again another uh, layer of spray 100 gram cacao butter melted 45 degrees then added 10 gram of ruby color or any color you like to do then we spray as you see and then leave it from half an hour then i spray white color 100 gram melted cacao butter 45 degree then emulsify with 10 gram of titanium oxide or titanium oxide or white color then i strain and i give this light layer then i keep it at least six hour after six hour i'm ready to fill it with the chocolate to make shell so i feel the chocolate timbering milk chocolate as you see we already becomes professional if you want to learn how to make all kind of cacao butter color i will leave the link in description box below let's start five gram earl gray tea and then we added 150 fresh cream 100 gram 50 150 gram fresh cream five gram earl gray tea we just boil and cover to infuse at least four hour at least four hour after four hour i strain the ganache you can see i squeeze the ganache or the infusing cream and very important just to squeeze because when you squeeze you got the real flavor of the tea you can see after this from 150 gram of fresh cream 5 gram early gray tea becomes 50 gram then i will increase 50 more gram fresh cream now i have 100 gram fresh cream i boil it again just not boil it just reheat it and i added 20 gram of tourmaline When it start boiling, I already melt 300 gram milk chocolate. It's already melt. Then I added my chocolate to the ganache. I mix it and wait till it becomes 30 centigrade, mean 30 gram or 30 Celsius, 30 degree. And then I added my 30 gram butter also so with hand blender i emulsify the ganache don't be hurry it takes three to four minutes to emulsify all ganache and this very important step when you emulsify the ganache 
100% it will be easy to feel it and stay long time shelf life. I keep it until tomorrow and tomorrow I feel my chocolate shell. In second day, I feel my chocolate shell. As you see, I leave two, three mil, uh, two millimeter or one and a half millimeter empty. Then I can feel all my mold. I shake it to take the bubbles out or the ear bubble. And with tempering chocolate, I cover the cap. Here we go. I can use. When I feel the ganache is so soft, this is the best way to cover with bibing back. One time and then with the spatula, we remove all the excessive chocolate. I keep it in the fridge 10 to 15 minutes and then I have my very beautiful Earl Grey tea bonbon. Thank you for watching me.